guys, it's Joshy here, and I'm back with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Now, this isn't a crazy, excited... It was fun, but I just thought, you know, after it happened, I'll show it off. So we did, Toasty and I decided to do a little cup. The only thing is, I actually thought I didn't have enough little cup Pokemon, so I bought a Middlemon, who is actually more like a little cup, in my opinion, because... Yeah, yeah, just, I even checked the stats, and the stats are definitely not much different than some other Pokemon. So I thought I'd bring it, and then afterwards I realised I actually had a Cyndaquil sitting there waiting to be used. But, didn't matter. So anyway, I thought I'll lead off with my Totoga, because it's not a bad Pokemon. I can get my um, Shell Smash off, hopefully a weakness policy, and go from there. Now, um... As, you know, I was hoping possibly to do a little sweet with him at the start or that, you know. I mean, it is a little cup, so it's not as hard to figure it out and do that. But we are at level 50 and not level, you know, 5 for this one. It's just too hard to do level 5. Plus, I like, you know, these Pokemon have moves they learn later that I want to use. You know, so they're a higher level. Anyway, so I've got my Shell Smash up and he did burn me. Which was good, so I went for a second Shell Smash. Now, he obviously thought I was probably a physical variant, which, at this stage, I don't know if I completely would have taken out or what item he was holding or that, but I wonder if I should have gone for a Scold there instead. But, I didn't, so the Memento is going to take me back down and pretty much make anything but my... Sp or, you know, make the second Shell Smash not worth it, except for the Speed Boost I got, so it's not horrible. Now, Stuffle comes out, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is going to be close. So I went for the Scold, and I thought, if I can do this, it'll be, and unfortunately, no. And I do get a burn, but thanks to the Shell Smashers, my defense has been lowered easily enough that I am not living that. And I don't have my Sturdy anymore. So, unfortunately, Totoga's going down there, and only got to take out one, and then, you know, really damage the other. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to bring in my Middlemon, which anyone obviously knows what it is, because it's obviously the thumbnail and everything. So I got in Trumbeak. Now Trumbeak actually only has 10 or 15 overall stat points higher than Stuffle. So it's not like I'm using a, you know, Laron or a Kadabra or something. And so I thought, you know, I'll go for the Flame Charge. I'll probably take him out because he's probably fluffy as well. And then he brings in the Why Not? And I was like, okay, time for some mind games. I'm not good at them, but we'll see how it goes because I always just, yeah. So I went for a workup. Thought, see what he thinks I'm doing. So I went for a counter, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go for another work up here, because I just want to see him get into the motion. If I can, I can trap him into encoring me at the wrong stage, or, you know, see what he does, or try and lower my attack, thinking that's what I'm raising. So then he went for the mirror coat, and I was like, oh, okay, well, this time I'm going for the hyper voice. I don't think he's going to double click mirror coat if you swap between the two already. Then he goes for the encore, and I was like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. So this birdie is going to do its work. So, I mean, I probably would have, not with the Encore, but it would have been good getting a bit of a, um, a, ta a speed boost up again, but that's alright. So now I'm locked into Hyper Voice, but I am causing a fair chunk of damage. So, in comes Screws Loose, and I was like, okay, I've got a Magnemite here. It'll be interesting just to see the damage I take off before I'm killed. So I go for the Hyper Voice, and it actually does over half. I was like, wow, like... I know I got a double uh, special attack boost, but I didn't think that much. And then he went for the Thunder Wave, and I was like, boy, like, I thought you would have just taken me out. But then again, he could expect me to be Focus Ash, which I'm not. But I can understand why paralyzing me would be an attempt instead of that. So anyway, Magnemite's going down. My Encore ends, but, you know. And so, in comes Reverse Harem. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. And so I'm like, okay, well this thing now outspeeds me thanks to my paralysis. So it's going to take me down right low, but I actually have the Potato Berry. So I am able to pop my Potato Berry and get another special attack boost. So this Hyper Voice is going to hit super hard. Unfortunately, he is Focus Ashed, so he will live there. And he's going to kill me with a Sludge Bomb, but I was not unhappy. I know it is in a little cup and everything, but... I was really happy that Trumbeak finally got to do some work, and as I said, some of these Pokemon have stats so close and relative to Trumbeak that it's, yeah, nothing short of almost pretty much a starting one. Anyway, I'm bringing Adam Bomb, my little uh, Weezma, and I thought, okay, we'll go for a pound to take him out. And then he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, because he knows he's going down um, and probably won't kill me with a hit. 
which worked out all right because even though Pound's going to be half of the damage, he's got one HP, so he's going down. And this Weezma, yay, Weezma kill, by the way. Uh, this Weezma isn't anything special. Uh, it actually has no IVs whatsoever. Uh, EVs, sorry, whatsoever. Because I did use this guy um, to set up some sweeps with a Focus Sash and everything. So he goes for the Flame Charge and, you know, Atom Bomb definitely going down the next turn because I believe I versed this guy in some of my other battles. And he just gets his speed up and then starts really hitting strong with his special attacking moves. So, yeah, he was definitely there. So Camel Toe is going to um, get poison from my Toxic, but I will most probably be going down the next turn. So anyway, he outspeeds me and goes for the growth so he can hit even harder. And I was like, okay, well, I thought I would have gone down anyway, but, you know, and so then I went for the Endeavor. And I was like, okay, well, like, Pound's not going to do much, so Endeavor will definitely do more. Takes me down to about half HP. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's going well. I'm happy with that. And yeah, so at this stage, I'm going down for sure this turn. So Earth Power is definitely taking out the bomb down. But I'm not upset. Like, did his work. Poison one, took out, just finished off the other. And yeah, like, this guy got to do a little bit of setup on me, but he's toxic, so he's actually going down this turn, even if I don't hit him. So I bring in my Makuhita, which is Focus Sash. And unfortunately, Toasty knows that there's nothing that he can do anyway. And actually, excuse me, forfeited there. So I didn't even get to show off my whole team, but I really wanted to put this up just for the fact that Trumbeak actually got to work, which, I mean, it's not even that great of a Trumbeak. I got it as a Picky Peck with, I think he has maybe one or two top or close to high IVs, uh, one being special attack. And I thought when I, that was my random egg team, and then I just thought, ah, that's what I'm going to do. And so, yeah. It's a fun set. I mean, it'd be interesting to breed it with proper four IVs and go from there and see what I could do with it, but still. So, I know it is a little cup, but as I said, Trumbeak stats ain't anything to write home about. So, I thought it was still relevant to show off. It was just fun. It was just fun. It's nothing like crazy competitive in that. But anyway, guys, uh, as I'm saying in all my videos at the moment, do remember, until next Tuesday, there's a giveaway Pokemon team for full sh SOS Shinies. If you are interested in that, jump onto the link at the end. Watch that. Well, you don't even have to really watch it. All you have to do is go to that video and comment. Get the most likes on your comment, and you win. And to be honest, the likes, I think, yeah, it's not too hard. If you really want to achieve it, you will... You can win. You can just, you know, whatever forum or friends or whatever and get them to go on and like it. You'll, you'll get your likes, I'm sure, and the team's yours. So I'll link that in the end of the video. So if you did like this video as well, please do hyper voice that like button. I can just see a meme of kids screaming at the computer and, yeah, trying to <laughs> hit the like button. But anyway, if you want to do that, then, you know, upload a video of yourself screaming at your computer and link me for it. But other than that, uh, yeah, just... Let me know in the comments what you think, any feedback, any suggestions. I always love hearing the comments. It's always fun. Anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.